Hello again folks, welcome along to another video and this time around it's a flight iron video. My last video prompted quite a lot of, uh, quite a big response actually, um, it's called Six Killer Flies for River Trout and um, there was one fly in particular and a lot of people wanted to know how it's tied. So today I'm going to be tying a fly that goes by numerous names, um, I call it uh, Bubble Caddis, Bubble Sedge, Moser Sedge, Ethophone Sedge and several other names I can't think of off the top of my head. So anyway, here we go with the Bubble Caddis. Okay, Bubble Caddis. I'm going to tie it on a size 14. Um, that's probably the overall most useful size. Although you could tie it on a size 12 if you felt it necessary or even smaller on a size 16. And these are the hooks that I'm using. The tying silk I'm using is a uni thread in orange and it's 70 denier which equates to 8 or 8 I think. So we start off just behind the eye of the hook here and come back about a third of the way and then back up to the eye again. Now what creates the bubble is this foam here which can be bought in fly shops, tackle shops, uh, even in craft shops and I cut it to about uh, an eighth of an inch wide. Now it's easy to cut with the thread so the first two or three turns need to be relatively loose just to hold it in place and now each, cons each turn will be in that direction and will be getting progressively tighter. Now you'll notice that the foam is rotating around the hook shank, which we don't want. So now it's tied down, but it will continue to rotate unless you put a few turns just in front of the foam here and then back behind again. It's a common problem with this fly when you buy it in shops and stuff. It'll The fly will actually rotate around the shank of the hook. Anyway, the body is made from Dubbin. Um, I mix this dubbin myself um, I leave a link in the description below to uh, show you how to mix up this dubbin. Uh, this particular colour is a mix of um, seals for and a couple of other um, fibres. Um, you'll see it in the, the video, check the link below. So we make quite a thick rope of dubbin with the seals for mixture. And I go up quickly, up as far as the foam, and then back down, and then back up along again. And that essentially is the body. Now the wing. Uh, the wing is made from deer hair or elk hair, whatever you would like to use. Um, doesn't seem to make much difference either way. So I pinch out. Um, roughly this much and I have a little tool here that I use to level the ends which isn't absolutely necessary but just makes the fly look look better so now the overall length of the wing is just slightly longer than the body of the fly so that's the measurement I need And tying in the deer hair uh, can be problematic for some people, uh, they tell me. Um, it's relatively easy, all I do is I put two loose turns around and then I tighten down. That will tie it into place and then tie a good few turns tightly around it. Now you'll notice that this tends to get the deer hair um, vertical, which we don't want because it doesn't kind of fit with the, the natural shape of the caddis wing so very easy to solve that problem we just get another little bit of dubbing here and pin the wing down and then tie it like that and that will give it the typical uh, caddis or sedge wing now to make the bubble head we just fold back the foam on itself and again, a couple of relatively loose turns. You don't want to tighten down because you will cut the foam and it will just fall apart. 
So now I have it held in place. Again, the same procedure. Each turn, each consecutive turn will be heading in that direction. Even though they're very tight together. There we are. That should do it. By the way, the, the original fly was tied with um, egg, what do they call it? Egg yolk coloured foam. Um, I've tied this fly with virtually every colour foam that you can possibly imagine and it made no difference one way or the other to the effectiveness of the fly. So you can use any colour foam that you like. This fly is fished from dusk or thereafter and the colour of it seems to be insignificant. So whip finish once, whip finish twice, cut off the thread, any little errant fibre sticking out, cut the foam and that's it, that's the um, whatever you'd like to call it, I call it um, a bubble caddis, uh, ether foam sedge and any of the other numerous names that it has. So. If you want to catch a lot of fish, do not be without this fly in your fly box. Fished at dusk and thereafter, it's just phenomenal. Um, if, you, if you're a beginner fly fisher and you just want to feel what it's like to have a fish on the line, get yourself uh, to the river at dusk. Just get this fly in the water. You don't even have to be able to cast. Just get it on the water and let it drift downstream and fish will literally throw themselves on it. So do not be without this fly in your fly box. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thanks very much again for watching. And good evening, Kate, or rather, slang of oil.